Morning everyone. Insert your time zone here. Um, this morning I thought I would show just how to heat up plastic. I get a lot of questions about this on the website and I also see a lot of problems people have have to do with heating their plastic. We're just going to make a little watermelon. This morning um, I've used seven drops of yellow, four drops of black, one drop of watermelon with the lure craft colors. I got eight ounces. Recipes on the website, it's not really that important. Color doesn't matter when it comes to mixing up and uh, heating your plastic. Just whatever color you're going to use, it's all going to be the same, obviously. The most important thing, people are overheating their plastic. I had a comment the other day on one of my videos and the guy says he breaks, he's broken his Pyrex heating his plastic. Well, that has got to be superheated plastic. I've never heard of anyone breaking their Pyrex. Uh, don't forget to wear your mask. I can't really wear mine um, or plug in the blower or you won't be able to hear anything I'm saying. I've got a cheap microwave, very cheap yard sale microwave. This is all I use. It works really good. It takes a long time. Well, I shouldn't say a long time. It takes a little bit longer to heat up the plastic, which is great because it's harder to burn the longer it takes. So in this particular case, we've already been at a minute. And I'm going to show you. This still looks like water. Complete water. That's just exactly how it comes out of the container. Drips off the spoon. So we're going to put this back in. The first time in my microwave, I could go for a minute. And I know it's not going to be warm enough to do anything. After that, 30 second intervals at the most. And when I'm very close, I may have to check it several times. I've got my microwave pretty well figured out, so I may not have to do all that many checks. But I want to show you the different stages of what this is going to look like along the way. And then we'll even pour a Cinco, uh, Cinco style stick bait or two. We've been about 40 more seconds. So we're at a minute 40. Still, same thing, looks like water. Not done. now we're starting to change starting to change color or texture it's starting to get a little thicker it's half about half water and half melted plastic we still got a ways to go yet it's going to get even thicker than that and that was another 40 seconds again the time doesn't matter if you're using a strong microwave it's going to go quicker. If you're using a weak microwave, it's going to take longer. Twenty more seconds. See, now it's really getting thick. 
much thicker. I'm going to clear some fumes. consistency similar to what you would uh, think if this bait was left in the sun direct sun high temperature this is what it would turn into now that's not what happens but that's what that's the basically the texture and that this is is starting to turn into so believe it or not now we're starting to get close that was another 40 seconds another 30 seconds and now it's starting to thin out again once this gets all thinned out we're going to be at our usable stage but you can see it's starting to go back the other way and in between the nuking the heating up I'm wearing my mask or I'm wearing a, a cheap version and I got my blower on I'll unplug that when we're done. I'm trying to keep the fumes to a minimum here. 